you just heard a high-pitched wailing on the winds, it was just our inner child having an absolute meltdown after our first look at Disney Dreamlight Valley. A new sandbox simulation absolutely dripping with Disney pixie dust magic. We got to see a first look at a few different slices of the game, including a very early onboarding and a look at the magical realms that can be accessed through the iconic Disney castle. The first thing to notice in the first few moments of the game is that either the Disney animators are processing some very dark emotional issues, or a dark power has infested its magical world. Dreamlight Valley's ruler has gone MIA. The kingdom was plunged into darkness, its inhabitants lost their memories, and some very dangerous plant life has started to appear. Luckily, when the player first arrives, Merlin, from Sword in the Stone, is there to spot our magical potential and set us on a quest to save the day. Merlin also gifts you a house, and yes, you can decorate it. In a chat with Gameloft's Manea Caste, they told us that in these early moments, most playtesters seem to be quite content going around using their magic to clear up thorns and clean everything up. Each character you meet has their own house, and they all have their own individual arc. To learn more about them, you'll need to befriend them and build your relationships with them. For instance, Goofy loves fishing, so finding his lost rod is a great way to start that friendship and get a quick lesson in fishing while you're at it. For Scrooge McDuck, following his story means helping him earn money with a store. And to befriend Mickey, you'll need to help him find Minnie and take care of his village. And if all else fails, you can always try buying their love with gifts, just like in Stardew Valley. Next, we got a look inside the Dream Castle, and it's filled with doors. Magical doors, naturally, that give you access to different Disney realms. The doors we saw represented Wally, Ratatouille, and Moana's Ocean. But that's just a smattering compared to the potential Disney and Pixar realms that could be added. In Early Access, there will be four realms on day one, with more added as the Early Access period continues. We headed into Wally's world, where we got to see the player character solving puzzles with Wally's help. The biggest takeaway from this early look is that as soon as this game comes out, our life is over. We are going full Disney adult. The in-game currency is Starcoin, and it's unlocked through gameplay, but of course you can also buy it with real money. But don't stress, before you start putting your kidneys on eBay, know that all of your adventuring is only limited by your energy. Again, similar to Stardew Valley. It's not about the size of your bank balance. Of course, it's not a charity, and the free-to-play game will have some items available for purchase. These are, quote, cosmetic and paid game extensions, and that comes from the Steam FAQ. But you can definitely play forever for free as well. In our chat with Caste, they stated that there is no way to accelerate gameplay with real money. The more actions you do in the valley, the more tired you become, and at a point, you will need to go back to your house or eat something if you want to continue being active. And the higher the level, the bigger the maximum is. He reiterated again, there is no monetization mechanic tied to its energy system. There is no way to spend money to refresh your energy or increase your energy. It's all about gameplay and not monetization. Disney Dreamlight Valley comes to PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch in early access later this summer. And you'll have access to that early access by buying a special Founders Pack. Then the full free-to-play game is launching in 2023.